fresh water, aren't they? Okay. Oh, good. So this is working. So one of the things we need to bear in mind is there's this law called conservation of momentum. We've talked about conservation of things before, like in chemistry, we talk about conservation of matter. You're not going to destroy matter, you're not going to create matter, it's going to be the same on both sides, that's why you balance equations. We talk about conservation of energy, you're just transferring it from one type to another, you're not losing any, right? Here we'll talk about conservation of momentum. Momentum is the same before and after. So that means that you could take momentum, since P equals mv, you could say that P1 equals P2, right? Yeah. Same as before and after, or you could say that M1 V1 equals M2 V2. It's the same thing, it's just substituting in MV for P. Right? So let's try this one, ready? Let's say we take, um, okay, we're going to take Mishra's car, which was 100 kilograms, right? Supersized. Yep. Mishra's car, and had wheels. Okay, and she was blowing it at 10 meters per second, correct? Right? So let's say that uh, Ocean Token's car is in the way. An Ocean Token's car is a little mini car, only 50 Sorry, kilograms. Man. It's a little mini car, a little mini me. <laughs> right? And it's not going anywhere. Now, what happens is as her car is going along, it bumps into Ocean Token's car, and it's even worse. Their bumpers interlock, and now they're moving along together. Okay? So the question is, what is the final velocity for the combination of those two cars? Well, how would you figure it out? You have to use conservation momentum. So V2 is going to equal the initial momentum divided by the secondary mass. So the initial momentum here, what's the velocity for Rennie's car? Zero. Zero. So it doesn't count at all, does it? So we're just going to take a look at the momentum of the only car that has momentum. And that's going to be 100 kilograms times 10 meters per second. So it's 1,000. Divided by the mass of the cars afterwards, which is how much? 150. 150, right. Oh, yeah, you come on. No, we can talk about that later. So 1,000 divided by 150, that's going to be what? Oh, I don't know. 2, 4, 6, something? 6 something. We'll just round to six, six meters per second. Now, here's a question. If Maya's car is going 10 meters per second and it's 100 kilograms, it runs into Rennie's car, which is 50 kilograms, not moving, and afterward, and they combine, and afterwards they're going only six. Does this answer make sense? No. That they would be going slower? Yeah, because you're adding mass to it, right? And, and you're not adding any extra momentum, yeah. right? Okay, so that's one where they actually stick together. Let's do one where they bounce off each other. <clears throat> so let's take, uh, <laughs> this is Misha's car again, right? Let's just keep it easy. And uh, it's 100 kilograms. We didn't forget that. And it's going 10 meters per second, right? Right? And then this time we have Rennie's car. And it was how much? 50 kilograms. Let's say it's going, I don't know, let's make it easy, 20 meters per second. So a really good speed. Now what's interesting is if you have something where two things collide and bounce off, they transfer the momentum. Let's say it's a complete transfer of momentum. Nothing has lost the heat or sound or light or we don't have wheels coming off. Let's say it's completely transferred. And so what you need to do is if you want to find out how fast are these cars going afterwards, you first have to figure out what kind of momentum is being transferred. So, what's the momentum here, and what's the momentum here? <coughs> so you figure it out. P equals mv, right? So 50 times 20 is? Is what? 1,000 kilogram meters per second. And over here, it's still 1,000, right? Yeah. Kilogram meters per second. So let's say these things, oops, I put that in the wrong spot. Uh, 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 uh. I put that in the wrong spot. Okay, there we go. So it's a thousand thousand. So they have complete transfer momentum. And so sure enough, after they hit, <clears throat> how fast are they bouncing off? This one's going to be going what? 15. 10. Wait, no. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. Well, look. 
their momentum is actually exactly the same, right? Oh, so zero. So they're going to bounce off. How fast is this one? Is uh, Maya's bouncing off? It's zero. It's, zero. it's going to be bouncing off at 10 meters per second. Oh. Right? Yeah, and this one's going to be bouncing off at 20. 20 meters per second. So range comes in. Bam. So let's try another one. Let's try one that's different. Yeah. What if you have? Da, 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 oh, let's say a semi truck, right? Right, and you have. Oops. What is that? Is that Indiana? Let's say we. That's not Indiana. It's the car of the future. So. Oh yeah. Let's say we have semi truck and a little car, right? What is it? Oh wait, that's your shoe. Now, most likely, what's going to happen in this situation? What do you mean? Okay. So let's say they hit bam. And they're gonna transfer momentum. Right? Sure. What's gonna happen afterwards once they hit? The person in the small car is gonna die. Why? <laughs> Because the big well, one the truck has more mass. It depends on okay. what the speeds are. Okay, part of it depends on the speed, right? So, comparatively, this has a very large mass to this one. In order to make up for it and to have the transfer being equal, the velocity would have to be very large compared to its velocity. What generally happens is if you have a truck going along and you have a car going along, the truck does it slow down afterwards. Yes, it will. Yeah. Yes, because you have all this momentum transferring over, and sure enough, it's going to lose some of that speed as it goes. But, however, the truck will continue to go forward. And that's a problem for the little car, because this little car imparts its momentum to him, and then bounces off. But they both so, the off. truck is going to slow down a little bit, the little car is going to hit, and then... Bounce right off, get pushed off. Well, if they even though that would And that's when we start talking about impulse. Because for a second you're going this way, and the next second you're going the other way. That's a real problem. And that's why it most likely the person's gonna die. Yep. What if you're like percent of your muscle cars or something sure. parts and oh, yeah. you get hit in the back? Oh, let's do that one. So you're <laughs> You're in a bumper car, right? It's got that thing going up there in the bumper car, and you got the wheel thing. Okay, so you're in a bumper car. <laughs> your hands are on the wheel. Your feet are down there. You got this big old smile, right? And you're trucking along, right? Right? Right. Good. And then you got someone else you don't see. They said they were they were your friend, but they don't seem like it anymore. Here comes little Johnny. And he's got a bigger smile on his face. Because <laughs> right? he, he's coming after you, right? So, <laughs> so he's coming along. He's got a faster speed. So let's say that uh, little Johnny here is at uh, 200 kilograms. And he's moving at 20 meters per second, right? That's awesome. Right? And you're like 100 kilograms. And you're moving along at 10 meters per second. So, is he going to <laughs> collide with you? Is he going to bounce off you? What's he going to do? He's going to make your net <laughs> force even greater. So you're going to be like 300 kilograms at 30 meters per second. Mm -hmm. Or would he hit you, or would Johnny hit you, and then you just go forward and he'd kind of stop? Mm -hmm. He wouldn't stop, he'd still go forward. Like, he'd still be going. He'd go at 100 kilo mm -hmm. kilograms per hour at 10 meters per second. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And you would go so, at 300. Let's find your momentum. Your momentum is mv, right? 1,000 kilograms. So it's 1,000 kilograms per meters, meters per second this way, right? And this one is 200 times 20? 4,000. So that's 4,000 kilogram meters per second, right? Great. So <clears throat> what's going to happen to your speed? What's the difference between your momentums? 1,000 versus 4,000. Four it's four times. Oh, four times. Right? Is your mass going to change? No. So how much faster are you going to go? 
You're going to bounce off at 40 meters per second. And how fast will he be going? One fourth as fast. He'll be going five meters per second. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. So he's going to continue to go, but the momentum is transferred far less. What if he gets hit on the side? Well, that's a different story, isn't it? Okay. So we're just doing in, in line. But when you start adding other vectors, then it gets a little more interesting. And sure enough, real life car crashes, a lot of times you want to be hit head on because that's where the car is designed. Um, and you want to be in the bigger vehicle. <laughs> okay, in fact, um, do you guys know what's that really rich guy that got rich off the Oracle of Omaha? Warren Buffett. So, Warren Buffett 